Hi, welcome to Mathematics with Tom. I am Tom, and today what I'd like to do is I'd like to take a look at an application of the expected value. And the expected value we saw in our, our last lecture was, or is, our, our expected value is the mean, it's this yellow here, of a probability distribution when money is the concern. So, what is an example? The expected value maybe to you and I is difficult to understand. Expected value really applies to a big situation. So I want to show you where an expected value is actually a very real concern. Here it is. Um, let's, I have an example, and I, these numbers are only numbers the best I could do. They are not provided by Apple or any insurance company. It's just the best I could find. So here we go. Apple. Apple works as an insurance company when they offer Apple Care Plus. That's an insurance policy. That's all it is. You, there's life insurance and there's car insurance and there's other insurances. <laughs> there's cell phone insurance or smartphone insurance. That's what your Apple Care is. And we're going to look at not just Apple Care Plus. We're going to look at Apple Care Plus with, with theft loss. Okay, so at the time of this video, I took the liberty and I priced out an iPhone, so an, an iPhone, an iPhone 11 Pro with 500, that's a five, with 512 gigabytes of memory. I know totally geeking out about this. Uh, 512 gigabytes of memory and it costs, it retails from Apple for $1,449. Now, when you check out, one of the things that Apple makes very clear that you decide whether or not you should click on or unclick, click or unclick, is the Apple Care. And so from now on, we're, I'm going to call it Apple Care or insurance. We'll just call it the insurance. Let's just call it that. The, they make sure you see their insurance, which is their Apple Care Plus with theft loss. That's what we're looking at. Insurance. Insurance if the phone gets damaged. Well, the insurance policy is $269. The question is, is should I buy that? Well, I'll let you decide at the end of this video. But let's take, remember what the expected value is, and we're going to talk about that then too. So here we are. Now that you need to know a little bit more about how the Apple insurance works. In the event that your phone is lost and not recovered, and you also had your Find My Device on, in that event, you don't, you, you've already paid 269 but you also have to pay again, they call it a deductible, D deductible, to pay a deductible of, um, I looked this up, this was $149, $149, yes, that's it, I was checking my notes, okay, so let's set up, let's calculate the expected value of buying uh, Apple Care Plus with theft loss, well, here's what, here's what can happen, so we're going to have our X, oops, uh, we're going to have our, our x and our p of x, and that's crooked as all can be, so let's try it like this. That's wavy. All right, here we go. This third one will probably be mm, not very good, but it'll work. Okay, so what could happen? What could happen? You buy, you buy your phone, and you buy your insurance. So you're going to buy the insurance policy. So let's write that. Your insurance is here. Okay, you buy your insurance. So now remember, let me uh, maybe make this um, the insurance. I'm gonna scoot it over because this X here. Remember, this X is your your uh, X is your net. Your, we'll call it your net gain. Your net gain. Okay, so you buy the insurance. 
So you're now out, you're minus $269, okay? Now, we're, you're going to then experience theft. And theft in the, to the extent that your phone is not recovered. So now you're gonna contact Apple and you're going to say, yeah, my phone was stolen. They go through a process, they verify and say, all right, we'll send you a new iPhone 11 Pro with 512 gigabytes of memory. And you say, wonderful. So what is your net gain? What is your net gain? Now think about, think about how much richer you are. Well, obviously, you just received an iPhone that's worth $1,449. But your net isn't that because you had to pay $269, $269 to just be able to even have this option. So we need to subtract $269 from that. How I, so having that $269 paid meant you could make the call to get the new iPhone. But Apple still won't give you an iPhone until you also pay your deductible of $149. So once you've paid, for, you've bought your insurance, you pay your deductible, then you get a new phone. And in this case, we're going to assume that they actually give you a brand new one and not a refurbished one. So if you do, I'm going to add all of those up, and I believe that that comes out to, let's, let's just go back to the calculator here really quick. We take 14449, we subtract off our insurance of 269 minus our deductible of 149. So our net gain is $1,031. Okay, so let's work from there. Now this is where I had to do a little bit of work and I'll show you the best I got. According to Lookout, and as I understand it, Lookout is a company that protects people's digital devices, the digital information on mobile devices. According to, to Lookout, uh, one out of 10 people will experience smartphone loss each year. Not only that, of the people, so let me write, that's important. So one of 10, one of 10 have a smartphone stolen. Now, here's the interesting part. Uh, 0.68 or 68% of those are never found. Oops. 68% are never recovered, are not recovered. So, so what we, we've got a conditional probability. The probability that our phone is S for stolen, and we'll do this, how about, how about uh, NR for not recovered? Well, that's the probability first that it has to be stolen, times the probability that it's not recovered given that it was stolen. Because obviously it has to be stolen before it could be not recovered. So that's a conditional probability. So let's see what we've got. So the problem of being stolen and not recovered is um, 0 0.10 times point, or, or write it this way, um, 0 0.68, or in other words, it's 0 0.068. There we go. So the probability of theft without recovery is 0 0.068. Okay. Now, what then is the probability that your phone is not stolen? Or at least not stolen and not recovered. That's going to be 1 minus that. So that's going to be 1 minus the 0 0.068. That's going to be 0 0.932. And now we're ready. Now we're ready. So the expected value of buying Apple Care Plus with theft loss, we can say, is equal to uh, the negative 269 times its probability of 0 0.932 plus the, the gain from the theft, which is your new phone for 1031, times the probability, which is 
0 0.068. All right, let's come over to the calculator and we're gonna check that. So I'm gonna come over here, my calculator. Oops, right there. Oh, that wasn't the calculator I wanted. I wanted that calculator. There we go. So let's let's write that. Um, I had a negative, a negative 269 times 0.932 plus 1031 times 0 0.068 equals ooh, 180 point negative 180.6. So this is equal to to negative 180.60. What does that mean? Well, what it means is that you're out, even if you have your phone stolen and replaced, that really you're out an additional 180 extra dollars. But on a single basis, just a, a person like you or I buying a phone, that's um, it's a hard call to make. But let's look at the other side. What is that negative? If it's negative to you, it means it's positive to the insurance company. So what does that mean? That means that Apple, Apple on average, makes makes one hundred eighty dollars sixty cents on every single insurance policy that they sell or with theft loss policy that they sell on the sale of an iPhone 11 Pro so they're making money on every single one of these and I did a little bit more uh, research and if I recall, I think it was in two, 2009, they sold over, over 20 million iPhones. Now, the question that I just could not find is, what percentage of consumers purchase insurance? That I don't know, but even if it was just half, then they made 10 million times $180.60. I'll let you do the arithmetic on that. That is why we make these calculations of expected values. They're highly practical. I hope that helps, and thanks for watching.